so the next topic is impact of jet on a series of flat plates mounted on the periphery of a wheel we saw the example of a flat plate which is freely suspended which is free and the velocity uh, the jet comes and strikes here the plates are mounted on the periphery of the wheel and we need to calculate the force that is exerted because of uh, the jet the force that is exerted and then we need to also calculate the work done then we need to calculate the efficiency so let's see how it works out So the topic is impact of jet on a series of flat plates which is mounted on the periphery of the wheel. So these are the plates as you can see in the diagram there is a wheel there is plates mounted on the wheel. The jet comes and strikes the plate and makes the wheel rotate. and the wheel is also moving so here also we need to consider the effect of relative velocity the wheel is not stationary the wheel is already moving and at the same time simultaneously the plate the jet is also coming and striking so this is also an example of a plate which is moving which is just mounted on the periphery of the wheel So the formula remains the same m dot v1 minus v2 as we are calculating the x component of force the velocity is also has to be the x component of velocity entering and the x component of velocity leaving. So this is the formula for the force exerted by a jet on a series of flat plates which is mounted on the periphery of a wheel. The formula is rho A V into V minus U. Now next let's see what is the work done because of the force. So the work done will be the force into the displacement in the direction of the force so work done per second is force into the distance moved per second distance moved per second is nothing but the velocity and the velocity of the plate is given as u so the work done per second is force times the velocity of the plate So this is nothing but work done per second. Now let's see one more thing that what is the work done per kg of the fluid I mean per Newton of fluid per second. So this is work done per second. So the next thing is work done per second per unit kg of the fluid. The work done per second per Newton. So here we have to divide by the weight of the fluid. The weight of the fluid is nothing but mass times gravity. Now m dot is rho q which is rho a v. We, all, we have already seen m dot is rho a v. So this is the formula for work done per second per unit weight of the fluid V minus U multiplied by U divided by G. Now let's see one more thing the efficiency uh, how if 
how efficient the turbine or the plate system is so for calculating efficiency you need to uh, find the ratio of two different things the work output that you're getting and the input that you that is you're giving to the plate so let's calculate efficiency So efficiency is nothing but output upon input. So what output you are getting is the work done per second and what input you are giving to the plate is the kinetic energy. So work done per second we have already calculated. Now the next thing is to calculate the kinetic energy supplied per second. So let's calculate kinetic energy supplied per second and then we can easily divide both the things and get the value for efficiency. So the kinetic energy comes out to half rho a v cube. Now let's divide both work done per second, kinetic energy supplied per second and get the efficiency. So this is the formula for efficiency, you need to remember this formula. So all these things that we are deriving is for a plate which is mounted on the periphery of a wheel, jet comes and strikes the plate. So all these formulas are for that particular case only, you cannot use it for any other cases. So let's do one more thing, we have got the efficiency and let's see what is the relation between the velocity of the plate and the velocity of the jet for getting maximum efficiency. So next thing we need to de we, uh, we are deriving is maximum efficient maximum efficiency and what should be the condition what should be the relation between the velocity of the jet and the velocity of the plate so that the efficiency is maximum So for maximizing the efficiency you need to differentiate the efficiency with respect to the velocity. So once you differentiate you equate it with zero you get some condition and that is a condition for efficiency to be maximum. So here the variable is the velocity of the plate. So let's differentiate efficiency with respect to the velocity of the plate and get some condition. So before differentiating, let's just uh, multiply the terms and make it a little simpler. Now since you have simplified, you can just differentiate now. And we have already know, we already know from mathematics that for getting maximum we need to differentiate and we need to equate it with zero. So we have got the condition for maximum efficiency. The condition is u should be half times v. So that is nothing but the velocity of the plate should be half times the velocity of the jet. If this condition is satisfied, we will achieve maximum efficiency. So that was all about this topic impact of jet on a series of plate mounted on the wheel.